Hello, welcome, welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful blouse. We are going to use the nest stitch and also I will show you how we are going to decorate it. Now that we are in vacations, I was thinking to make this idea. You can wear it even like a blouse, like a long dress or like a beach cover up. And under you can wear your bikini or something or just a simple blouse with spaghetti straps like this one and you will look beautiful. You won't believe how easy it is. But well, let's start. Well, this blouse will be made in two pieces. We are going to use for an extra large size. 400 grams of this material that will be between fine and light. And like I want to make this stitch a little bit loose, I will use the hook of number 5 millimeters. Remember that this blouse can be used as a beach cover up to or as a dress. And well, remember that I'm making this for me. I, even though I'm a large size, I want to make this blouse a little bit loose, okay? I want that this blouse be perfect for this summer. So in this case, I will make 100 chains to start Okay, if you feel that you crochet too tight, well, I suggest that you change the number of your hook. So we are going to start making 100 chains like this. And this long strip of chains must cover all around your hips, okay? And even it has to be a little bit loose. So please take that into account in case you want to make it in other size. Well, remember that I made 100 chains and it goes all around uh, my hips, but also 5 centimeters more each side because I want this blouse loose. Well, once we are sure with the number of chains, we are going to make 5 chains more. Yarn over, count 5, 6, and in the 7th, we are going to insert the hook right here and we are going to make a triple double crochet so take one then take two and the last two then two chains and look once we are going to skip one space always we are going to make two chains and then once we are going to skip two chains so you see once we are going to skip one and then two chains always making two chains between and the triple double crochet and like this is how we are going to continue the whole row once we are going to skip one spaces and once we are going to skip two spaces with two chains between so well here we are we are going to make the last double crochet for the edge I already count and I've finished with 40 mesh squares Remember that I'm making this for an extra large size and I made 100 chains. So you can take it into account and as reference of what you are going to do according to your size. And well, at the end of the row, we will go up with 5 chains. Let me take the yarn right here. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And then we are going to continue, double crochet over double crochet. I suggest that you place always a crochet the same way. If you crochet loose, we'll keep trying like that and always keep with the same number of hook. If you feel that you start to tense more your crochet and you are crochet a little bit tight, well, I suggest that you change the number of your hook, okay? It has to be loose and it has to flow. So please take that into account. This is also the secret for this piece and for having a quality blouse, okay? It will make the difference, you will see, and at the end you will love the result. So like this, we are going to continue with this stitch. I will show you how many rows we are going to make, but this will depend according to the long of the blouse or if you want to make it a sub dress and well if you are a bikini i think that this 
stitch and this project it's perfect for you also if you are new in my channel welcome thanks for subscribing and thanks for clicking to this video you will see that in my videos i always try to make them easy fast but beautiful you will see that i always try to uh, teach as easy as in the easiest way as, as i can and i hope that you find it like that that you find that way also you can use this stitch for making other other products i think that with this you will make skirts you will make best to also you can make it open if you want to but well like this we are going to continue making more rows from the hips until the shoulders because in this case i want to make this as a blouse but if you want to make it as a dress well you are going to make more rows and we are going to make two pieces exactly like this one to make this blouse well so here we finished I finished these two pieces too, I did get ahead, I already count how many squares do I have and I have 35 and look I have both pieces together so this is for my blouse, this is a rectangle and here I already measured the wide of my blouse, it's 60 centimeters and of long I have 65 centimeters, so this is the reference. And well, once you have these two pieces together and you are sure of the long, we are going to sew uh, some squares for the shoulders, okay? And we are going to calculate, calculate like this. We are going to put some markers right here in the middle and we are going to see how many squares do we left from one side and in the other to make the neck. This will be up to you according how if you want the neck wider or no okay you will decide how many uh, squares you are going to sew also we are going to leave one space open here in the sides and leave the space for the armholes and sew the rest we are going to make the same in the other side too so i suggest that you count and that you put some markers to point it out where you are going to leave the space and where you are going to sew. I will use the same yarn to sew and an embroidery needle to do it. Remember that if you crochet for sale, I think that this idea is perfect, it's so fast and you can make a standard size and sell many blouses like this one. And also you can make a dress on a beach cover up and you can match it with your bikini or wear your swimming suit right but well i'm going to sew it and then i will show you how we are going to make a flower to the great and well i want to show you how i did divide so this is the exact half from here to the other side i count eight squares and i put a marker right there and then in the half and to the other side i count eight spaces so this is the wide of my neck please try on to see if you want the neck wider or no and then after this marker i will count five squares and i will sew okay until here i will sew i will close this part of the shoulder and then i will leave like these wings so my arm can uh, go out okay so this will be the space for it and then from here I will count 12 squares so I will leave this part opened I will put a marker right there so this will a space will be for the armhole then I will sew until here and I will leave the bottom open to have the sides opened and well you can sew them with them ready and it all or using your hook. I will show you how in case you have doubts of how to make it. I will show you. Well, when I use the embroidery needle, I like to use an embroidery needle that has a big eye and that don't make any damage to your project, okay? So, I will go in order make the making the invisible stitch I will take one stitch from one side and one stitch from the other side 
Remember, as I told you, we are going to sew and join 12 squares. And we will go in order, okay? Perfectly matching the stitches. So it, it will keep the shape, okay? If not, it will distort and make this part a little bit loose, okay? Don't tie too much. And this is how we are going to sew. As you could see, I inserted the needle to the bottom and to the top. This is the invisible stitch. So well, here I finish. I will make a knot. And now also with the embroidery needle, I will show you how we are going to hide the threads. This technique, I like to use it to hide the threads and later cut and burn the tips. Okay, like this, you will make sure that your stitch will be protected and that this bread would last forever even if you wash it or if you use it. So here we have already hidden a bit, so now we are ready to cut. Remember that I always suggest this to do with all your projects before you cut, hide them. And then we are going to burn the tips always in the wrong side, okay? Always hide these threads in, facing to the wrong side. So burn them and then in the right side you won't tell. So we are going to make this with all the threads that we have. We are going to finish to sew. Remember, not tie too much because if not the shape will distort. And we are going to keep this like this. So we are going to make the same in the other side too. And now I want to show you how you can make a cord. Okay, this cord I decided to make it because I want to um, focus the shape of this blouse in my waist. Okay, so this blouse I know it seems to be a bit loose, but I want to make a cord so we can play with the shapes and with the structure. So we are going to place it right there where we want to to show the silhouette. And I made a strip of chains approximately of one meter, two meters, sorry, two meters. And then once I finish to make the chains that I want, I will slip one in each space like this to make this cord round. You see, this is the effect that we have by making this a stitch. By slipping one, we can have a cord round. So it will looks beautiful. And I have made this kind of cords in other videos too. And I like to make it. So this is the decoration that we are going to use. We won't make any extra stitch in the edge or around the neck or around the sleeves. We are just going to leave it like this, we are going to put this cord and also we are going to make a flower that we will use to decorate one side of our blouse and I will show you how, how. this is optional, but I will show you. Well, and once you finish we are going to cut and we are going to make a knot right here and later we are going to hide these threads the same way at I taught you okay with an embroidery needle and we are going to hide it and make a knot and burn all the tips so well we are going to calculate the distance where we wanted to place it in this case I want to place it um, at the height of my waist and also I want to make the knot in one of the sides so I want to put both threads facing to the right to the same side so I can make the knot right there in front in one of the sides so you will decide this this is steps it's optional and as if you want you can put here a pompon at the end or you can put a brush or something like you want okay so I will finish to place it well we are going to make 35 chains with the hook of number 3.5 millimeters. At the end of the 35 chains we are going to make one, two, three chains more, we will come three and in the fourth we are going to make one double crochet. We are going to make one in each space and we are making this to make the flower. Well at the end of the row turn around we will go up with five chains. We will skip one and 
next to it a double crochet again two chains skip one and next to it a double crochet then again two chains well at the end of the row turn around and we are going to make six double crochet in each space so for example right here for the edge we will go up with three chains and inside we are going to make six double crochet like this in all the spaces so we are going to make segments out of six double crochet in each space four five let me take more turn and six then well first we are going to make six segments in here and in the next space so here we have the first three segments then here we are going to make a single crochet in the next space and we are going to make the next kind of petals so here we will go up with three chains and this space we are going to make three double crochet out of three crochet then we are going to make two chains and in the same place a single crochet so here we have one petal then single crochet then three chains and again inside three and like this ones I made one two three four five and six small petals then the last ones will be bigger so we will go up with three chains and in this first space we are going to make a double crochet out of three crochet so here we have two three four then two chains and we will go up to make a picket we, I mean we are going to come back right to make a picket then two double crochet in the same space as you could see we are making all of them together here we have three four then three chains and we are going to insert the hook right here to finish and a slip one so like this we are going to make the rest of the petals in the spaces so we will go up with three chains then four double crochet then the picot and again four double crochet all of them in the same space and then we are going to finish with three chains and a slip one to close the petals so like this we are going to continue until we finish one two three four five six seven eight, i mean nine petals like this one so four double crochet with a picot and in the edge three chains well at the end of the row we will have something like this so here we have the nine big petals and i love it so now here we are going to slip one to close and we are going to leave a long thread because we will use it later to hide so here we are going to cut a long long thread because I will show you that first we are going to join all the petals and then we will use the same thread to sew it in the blouse so for example the blouse will be like this we are going to grab all these pieces like this facing to the wrong side okay because the outside will be facing the right side so like this we how we are going to grab all of them as you could see the big petals are the one that will be at the end and that will cover all the small petals that we made probably i should have made this um flower with more chains but well this is up to you so here with an embroidery needle we are going to join and sew all the petals so i will show you how and also with the embroidery needle we are going to um 
sew it in the blouse or you can put a brush behind and you can use it in other projects to decorate right so it could be a good idea too and if you want before you joined you should iron all the petals or like you want but we'll uh, here I will show you how we are going to take all of the petals together we are going to make sure that we take all of the stages and that we sew perfectly and also we are going to hide all the threads that we may have but well now let's see how it looks well, so I hope that you have enjoyed making this project with me. I love it. If you are a beginner, I hope that you enjoy making this project with me. Please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to leave me a comment and to follow me in all my social media. I'm in Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and in TikTok too. So see you there too and stay tuned for coming videos. Thank you so much. Bye bye.